Hi, Hi guys. guys! We're the Travel Beths and welcome back to our channel. So as some of you are well, as some of you may already know, we travelled to Bali earlier this month, so we thought it'd be really useful to give you the details of the entry requirements and what it's like entering Bali at the moment. So, let's get to it. No. Oh, I've got I more to yeah. Right, Bali entry requirements, let's go. So the first stop after getting off the plane is the COVID-19 checks. In August 2022, if you've received a full course of COVID-19 vaccinations, you can enter Indonesia without doing a PCR test. You do, however, need to provide proof of a full course of vaccines obtained from the NHS website or app, which needs to be shown to the staff at the airport. You also need to install the Paduli app to your phone, which we've linked in the description below. On the app, you need to enter your personal details and your COVID vaccination details, which can be found on your NHS profile. It can take a few days to process, so it's essential that you download the app ahead of your trip. When approaching the desk, be sure to have your documents ready, either printed or on your phone, and also have your passport ready for cross-reference. For non or partially vaccinated travellers, you are required to take a PCR test upon arrival and self-isolate for five full days or 120 hours. You are then required to take a second PCR test before finishing the isolation period. COVID-19 insurance is no longer mandatory, however we would recommend having insurance that covers it, just in case you fall ill or need to isolate in a COVID approved hotel which can end up being quite expensive. The next point you will head to from here is to obtain a visa on arrival. So British passport holders entering Indonesia are eligible for a visa on arrival which costs 500,000 Indonesian rupee. This can be paid either in cash or on card and is roughly around £29. The visa is valid for 30 days and it can be extended for a maximum of an extra 30 days. To do this you need to make an application at the immigration office when you're in Bali. Uh, this needs to be done within the first 30 days to avoid an overstay fine. The fine is 1 million Indonesian rupee, so that's roughly around £58 per day. So next up you'll go to passport control. This is where they'll check that you have six months validity on your passport from the day that you enter. They'll also take your thumbprint, take a picture of your face and they may also ask you questions about your stay. This is also where you'll get your entry stamps so you have to make sure that you have a page free in your passport for these. From here you'll go straight through to collect your luggage. This is pretty straightforward and there'll be boards up which tell you which carousel your luggage is going to be on and then from here you go straight over to the customs area. So at customs you're required to fill out a form with your personal details and details on your trip to Bali. It's here that you also declare anything that you're bringing into the country that needs declaring. So you then walk through to another desk where a security officer checks through the form. They may ask you a couple of questions to do with the purpose of your trip or ask for evidence of onward travel. So from here you'll go to further security, this is where your luggage will then get put through another scanner and then if anything is found they'll take you to a side and go through your luggage again. So we didn't get pulled aside but we did see that there were quite a few people over there and it seems that Bali is extremely thorough when it comes to the check so just be really careful, really accurate when you are declaring things that you are taking into the country. So our flight arrived in the early hours of the morning, so we were really, really lucky in that the airport was very quiet. Uh, but we have met other travellers who have said that the whole process took them around four hours, so just be uh, prepared if you are flying during the more busy hours of the day. From here, it's pretty easy. When you are walking through, you'll get shouted by about 100 taxi drivers who are all asking to take you to your destination. However, the safest thing to do is to walk straight out of the airport and there is a taxi desk that you can order a taxi from. This is the safest option and we definitely recommend this if you're arriving late at night like we did. So that's it for today's video and we hope you found it helpful and useful and if you have any questions please just leave them in the comment section below. Yeah and please like and subscribe too. Yes. Uh, we are actually moving to Vietnam. We so are next indeed. week's video will be details on that. Uh, so yeah, hope to see you next week. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I play tight literally. Why is it the first time? The first one? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Why are we so bad at this today? <laughs>